All right, all right, all right. What do you think about 100 John Wicks with prep versus Kid Goku from the first chapter? Bro, <laughs> Dude, for some <laughs> reason, dude, for some reason, Chuck always brings up John Wick versus Goku. Like I don't a hundred, okay, a hundred John Wicks. Like, okay, hold on, maybe maybe we can actually break this down. All right, Goku got hurt because some guy with an axe plowed him over the head. <laughs> He's like, damn, that hurt like fuck. Because he was off guard. Bulma shot him in the head with a pistol. He's like, damn, that hurt like fuck. So maybe like John Wick. Wait, wait, wasn't there like an episode? There is like a filler episode where like early Goku got caught in an explosion. And it kind of fucked him up. I think after the 21st Budokai. The Ox King like lot. No. Huh. Then he got burned a bit by like some exhaust from like General Blue's like. Yeah, but that's like, but that's like not conventional technology. We don't know what it means. He does get fucked up by like an explosion though. I don't remember if it was twenty first Budokai or before. I don't know. Maybe John Wick can cook something up though. Like if John Wick was in that world, he could like get one of those ships. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like Toriyama would just, like, have Goku win somehow. Like, he'd write as a gag, but... Maybe he can cook something up, bro. Like, if he just poisons him, he wins instantly, but... I don't know. That's kind of a good question. John Wick is, like, kind of superhuman, too. But not that crazy. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think with prep, with prep, you said with prep. I mean, with prep, he might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With with prep, with prep I'm thinking like he's gonna find type some type of technology or ship or he all he has to do is just poison him technically to win. But yeah, he could pull it off. He could pull it off. But in like a fist fight, he's getting his ass whooped. Like he's <laughs> he, Goku's beating a hundred of them easily, no diff. <laughs> but I knew it was gonna be. <laughs> <good answer. laughs> well, thank you for the five dollars. Appreciate it. Leon versus Joel from The Last of Us. Bro, Leon is crazy OP. Like, Dude, Leon literally one-shots him, bro. <laughs> bro, Leon is kicking like... Okay. People don't realize the power scaling a little bit, but Resident Evil has like a power scaling system. All right? Leon not only beats like a fucking Mr. X... But he then fights, like, G-Virus Birkin, like, on fucking, like, some Maharaga-level roids, which transcends the, the fucking tyrant, like, multiple levels over, and then fights him in, like, a God of War duel, and then wins. And these guys are, like, fighting, like, you know, even the, the tyrants are fighting tanks and shit, let alone guys who surpass it multiple times over. And then Birkins becomes like this like eldritch abomination and they still beat him. And then Leon trains for like four years, becomes so OP that a new parasite virus stronger than before. He can kick their heads off in one hit. Um, even if they could take multiple rounds of shotgun fires or whatever, he can literally throw hands with a guy who can punch a boulder into lava. Uh, and he can fight Wesker, and Wesker is, like, some superhuman, like, Neo-type, bro, Joel, Joel's getting raped, Joel gets raped, it's not close, you know, you know those videos, like, it's not even close, Leon versus Joel is not even close, bro, like, come on, man, like, Joel is fighting some, like, generic, parasited humans, L like, People don't. This one's fuck, and they're weak as fuck, dude. People, like, come people on, don't bro. realize that Resident Evil has got like that Japan effect, where these things kind of have low key like anime scaling. Like they don't, they don't see that shit. Could John Wick prep against <laughs> Meruem from Hunter Hunter, bro? <laughs> yeah. Uh. 
I don't know. <laughs> the only way he'd have to get a tactical nuke, bro. Like that's the only yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, win. yeah. He has to do that shit, dude. I don't know. Like it depends. I feel like John Wick would try to run in there with a gun and get fucking love tapped. Like <laughs> he'd just get killed. But I don't know if they put him up to speed. Like, yo, this guy, he can like blow up mountains. He's like, all right, I'm gonna need a bigger gun. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> he, rolls, he rolls up with like this fucking big ass LMG or something. Yeah, I don't know. I. <laughs> I feel like his dude bro narrative would get him shit on, but if he, like, was like, all right, I need a nuke to deal with that guy, then whatever. But at that point, is it even John Wick doing it? I don't, I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the story wouldn't be him versus Meruem. It's him, like, breaking into a nuclear facility <laughs> like, to, to, to meet Meruem instead, like, which he, like, would hide if. Low key, Meruem getting packed up by Modern Warfare 2, though. <laughs> <laughs> is Modern Warfare 2 where they have like the rail, the rail gun in outer space, or is that is that three? I think that's Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare packing Meruem yeah. up with the rail gun. <laughs> 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 in Halo, they would Mac blast his ass, dude. <laughs> like. John Wick with the weaponized UFO versus Frieza. Dude, he'd get fucking raped. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what is a weaponized UFO? Unless you're like, you believe in like higher dimensional aliens or some shit. He's a higher dimensional spacecraft. <laughs> like, could he, but then like, could he even comprehend what it, what's happening when he's in it? Like, I don't even know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, just, yeah. just make him super fast, dude. Just, just like, just get a good reaction time. He has like okay. immeasurable reaction time with <laughs> yeah. his UFO. Yeah. <laughs> I said Frieza, dude, the Frieza force is like still planet busters. Like all of them are like planet busters. It's just a gang of planet busters, bro. Like, even the weakest of them are, like, fucking almost Raditz level, dude. Like, nuke a moon. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna hit him with the hammer of dawn. <laughs> Meruem versus Gears of War, bro. Holy <laughs> shit, dude. They didn't chase on him, dude. Bro, he actually <laughs> would hammer of dawn. Him with, dude, he'd pull out the little detonator thing to call it on him and everything. <laughs> Man, I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> like, what? No way, Merum would lose to Gears of War? Yes, for sure. Dude, Merum is so fucking shit, bro. Seth and Chuck, what are your top three anime and manga? I feel like I should just say something really generic. Man, Dragon Ball, Naruto, uh, Death Note. <laughs> uh, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z Kai, and Dragon Ball GT. <laughs> yeah. Dragon Ball, nah. Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> no, no, but for real, uh, Samurai Shampoo for sure, and then uh, I guess uh, Alpha and Lead. Yeah. Those What's two, what is two. mine? Um. And then probably you Hawk Show. I like Death Note a lot. Yeah. I, can, I feel like I could watch it like twenty times in a row. Um, it is pretty good. It's just, it's just watchable, bruh. Just, like, good pizza. Like, I can just eat a lot of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, Death Note, I really like... Um, this is going to sound really generic as well, bruh. I'm not doing nothing for my for any favors for myself. But I really do like Berserk 1997. I know... Like, I know that's... Oh, dude, that shit heat. That shit I know it's, like it. it's kind of generic, but that shit is actually kind of fire, low-key. Like, I actually really like it. Beautiful and then, soundtrack, bro. And then, um... The reason I say those two is because those are animes that I've watched multiple times. Just because. Um... Other than that, it's gotta, you know... You know, normally you'd say, like, oh, Dragon Ball or Naruto, but it's like, I can't... I don't watch that shit. I watch the fights, but I don't... I'm not, like, watching that shit for fun most of the time. Mm -hmm. Maybe when I was like younger, I watched them a lot, but they're not something I can really rewatch these days, unless it's like work. Um, but some of the fights I like rewatching. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what my third one would be. To be
be honest. I'm not, I don't, maybe there's like one I'm forgetting. I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I don't know. Like maybe Dragon Ball or Naruto. I feel like I, I enjoy Naruto a lot. But, oh, but he says manga as well. Wait, he says anime and manga, not just anime. If you're talking about yeah. anime and manga, the Naruto and Dragon Ball mangas are peak. Th those are actually insanely good mangas. Anime, not so much. But the Naruto manga is, like, actually really fucking good. Um, and so is the Dragon Ball manga. Those are, like, they're just very clean series to read. And then I'd have Death Note as number three. For sure. All, all three of them are just clean mangas. I really like. Even if they're generic. Um, okay. Madoka, thank you for the 1,000 zenny. Um, let's see. Since you and Clyde have been chatting more, I was curious. Dongai Ichigo versus Baryon Mode Naruto in terms of aesthetics, narrative, and degree of power-up, if you're willing. <clears throat> um, hold on, let me put you on the screen. Dongai or Baryon? I think Baryon of... looks better. I think Ichigo looks kind of goofy with like the half horn. Like I think she, he should have just had both horns. Like I think that's kind of dumb. But no, he's he's, he's talking there. about Dongai like uh, Final Getsuga Tensho. Oh, I'm fucking dumb, dude! I fucking misread that. Yeah, yeah, he's but talking, yeah, he's talking uh, yeah. about Final Getsuga Tensho. Oh, Dongai, easy, dude. <laughs> easy, dude. Okay. <laughs> okay. In terms, in terms of aesthetics, yeah, aesthetics, Dongai yeah. is way cooler. Yeah, definitely. In terms of degree of power up, that's subjective. Like, do you think Baryon mode is like nuclear fusion? I said nuclear, nuclear fusion, like forty-four billion times multiplier, or do you think that, you know, it's just sort of like a few times or whatever? Um, I think that in terms of impact of the story, in terms of a power up, like Don guy was so OP, Eisen couldn't even sense that motherfucker, like. He was so OP that Aizen, who, like, transcended everyone, like, well, got transcended. Like, it was it was retarded. Like, it was so OP that, like, if he showed up at the end of the series, he, he would be, like, fucking up Yuha a little bit. You know what I mean? It's kind of crazy. Um, in terms of narrative, the narrative behind Dongai is kind of weird. Um, I think it's good. It shows Ichigo's resolve to be Aizen and stuff, but... You know, like, for someone like Ichigo to give up all his powers when his whole thing is he wants to protect people and be strong to protect them because of his mother's trauma and stuff like that, that takes a lot of resolve. But it's also, like, when Aizen's like, why are you doing that, though? You know, it's sort of <laughs> like, that's a good question. Like, why are you doing that, though? Um, and it doesn't, it's not as satisfying as an answer as Baryon Mode. I mean, with Baryon Mode... It's not really, like, super deep with the narrative. It's just, like, you know, Naruto's willing to sacrifice himself for the others, which is, like, a Hokage thing to do. I think that, in terms of impact, I think Baryon Mode has more impact. Like, Kurama dying, Naruto losing his powers, like, and it's actually permanent. That's fucking crazy, bro. That's crazy. You know, like, unless, unless like, a, a Bijou ghost, like, stabs Naruto in the chest and gives him his powers back. You know, that's pretty crazy. So... I'm a little bit split on it. I'm a little bit split on it. I think in terms of cool factor, I'd go with Dongai. But in terms of story factor, I think Baryon Mode. That's just my opinion, though. That's just my opinion. <clears throat> hey, hey, hey. I didn't say, I didn't say he beat Yuha. All right? Even even if Final Getsuga Tensha was stronger than Yuha, you wouldn't beat him. Just like he was with Aizen. <clears throat> Halo Forerunners versus Star Wars Sith. Empire at height of power and Sith and Didax included. I don't think Halo Forerunners are ever really that OP, are they? Mm, I mean, like, apparently, like, they can make play time in space, apparently. Or I think that was implied to be with the Flood anyways. Like, uh, they were transcendent in some way. How did the um, I know I know the flood was like um what what was it? It was like the precursors or something like that. I know they were like the yeah, yeah. Really transcendent beings. Yeah, yeah, precursors. Um, but the forerunners seemed like they relied on like technology still. Mm -hmm. Um 
like for instance like the died act like was fighting master chief you know what i mean and then like it's killed by a nuke yeah <laughs> so is the, if, is the, well, it, he he actually didn't die he actually came back okay but you know what i mean uh, yeah, well, he, he got killed but yeah, yeah but it like yeah. halted his plan yeah and apparently that nuke can like nuke i think it's still just a city buster isn't it yeah 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 it was like new phoenix yeah um surprisingly a lot of the technology in halo is really advanced but not at the same time um yeah like, like apparently the caliber of the weapons is like dog shit compared to like what we have right now or something yeah so even though they do like crazy shit in space they're also like not that crazy uh so loki the sith are probably like molesting all of them <laughs> holy shit why do you keep saying that <laughs> like like Sidious is gonna see their fleet and he's just gonna like force lightning like destroy them <laughs> like Loki. Um But you know, maybe they like the Halo array has some crazy scaling. I don't know. Like maybe they could like suicide bomb <laughs> like But you hey, know, uh, hope that you're doing well. might not work. Um I'd say I'd say the Sith for sure. Um, composite Jason Voorhees slaps composite Dragon Ball. That's such a cursed thing to think about, like Goku running away from Jason at Crystal Lake. <laughs> like, I just, I'm just not seeing it, bro. Like, what did, did Jason Voorhees blow up a universe or something? What's up with what? Isn't he just like running around a lake killing like teenagers? Like, what? Why is he so? Open? Yeah, the the best thing I've heard about him is that he like survives a nuke or something. I think the best thing, but. Bro, he probably, like, survived a nuke and, like, singed him, but, like, in the comics, they're like, yeah, he's actually, like, a, an abstract entity. Like, those are just avatars, like, or some weird Oh, shit. yeah. Jason, <laughs> here, we, here we go. This is, this is why Jason is so OP. This is why Jason beats Goku. Jason killed full power Shinoke, and Shinoke is infinite multiversal highball scaling. Oh, n oh. I don't know about that. Hold on, he's scaling to Mortal Kombat <laughs> in a canon crossover with DC, and the crossover has an outer versal statement, which makes Jason Voorhees high outer versal. You, I don't do, know. You, do you scale Mortal Kombat? I don't know anything about that shit. Do you scale Mortal Kombat, bro? Is that real? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. He, Is he Jason kill Voorhees kill, just like, like taunting Zeno around Crystal Lake, bro? Be real with me. Like, what's what's going on? <laughs> no, <dude>? no. <laughs> Is no, Beerus like, so shitting like, his pants? So like, there's multiversal shit, but also like the super high tiers. Uh, maybe you could get him to like uni universal, maybe, but like that's so I fucking absurd. Like, like the, the only ones got two multiversals, like the one being who like made like all the realms, and then like Onaga with the Kamidogu. All the comedy dog, bro. Doesn't so. Jason get like shot in the chest with a shotgun? He's like, Urgh! you like fall <laughs> yeah. down and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bullets have no concept of space or time. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you my scaling on Discord if interested. I'll explain in detail. Also, in the novel, she has inaccessible speed feet and adapt adaptability hex. You know what's crazy though? I, I believe you. You know what I'm saying? I, I believe you. I'm just I'm just thinking about the movies and we're just like <laughs> didn't this motherfucker get shot with a gun and then just like <laughs> oomph like he like it like damaged him? Like was he LARPing? Like you know what I mean? Like I'm sure you're telling the truth, bro. I'm sure the argument is, is sound. I, I'm just I'm just not sure how <laughs> you know, like I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I hope this is a really good question. Could the Force negate Gojo's Infinity? That's a good question, actually. I think it actually can. I think... I, I believe that there's some... <clears throat> I think at, at least... At least with the Emperor... At least with the Emperor, I know he can, like, manipulate hyperspace. <clears throat> but with maybe, like, basic Jedi, not too sure. But the, I know the Emperor, at least, can... Uh, manipulate hyperspace. So, like, Sidious would be, like, fucking force-choking Gojo and shit, probably, if he wanted to, but... <clears throat> Yo, okay, how far do you think a uh, thousand-year Blood War Aizen would get in JJK? Uh, he, he solos the verse. 
Yeah. <laughs> he solos the there's verse. The, he, there's he, no way they could kill him. Uh, <laughs> he, really. he, he could stand still and they could never kill him. He could just stand there for like 2,000 years and just not die. He's like Mahuraga, but like true immortal. Like he can't be killed. So imagine like Mahuraga had like, you know, his adaptation. But then like, you know, maybe it's not like Mahuraga level adaptation. But, you know, it's sort of like a, a junior Mahuraga who just truly cannot die. Even if you just uh, evaporate his body with an existence erasing attack. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, who's the strongest Quincy you think Gein could beat? Um, hmm. Gein. I don't think he makes it past Grammy. At least. Uh, I say like I say like like do you think he could beat Asnon maybe? Because Asnon like Flick on Biakia. I'll be like, honest. I'll, to Kampachi. I'll be honest. Anything Shun Sui could do, Gein could do. That's just mm. my opinion. I think Gein I think Gein is stronger than Shun Sui. That's mm. kind of a hot take, but I actually yeah. do think Gein is stronger than Shun Sui. Uh, you have to remember this. <clears throat> so, Hitsugaya's whole lore is he can surpass Shun Sui in 100 years. Gein yeah. has the most potential of any captain. He's like 300 years old. Uh, his Bankai is what causes Aizen to transcend Hollow and Soul Reaper. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, I think that could he fight Lily Baro? Yeah, I don't, you know, would he, would he beat him? You know, maybe, you know, Lily Baro's hacks might be, you know, a counter. But his power scaling should probably be in those war arc levels, you know, just like Aizen would be, you know. Like, I, like, I don't think, like, for instance, you know, what what Quincy could base Aizen fight? You know what I mean? He's doing better than Shun Sui, you know. Like, um, he's a peak level Soul Reaper. Um, only Yamamoto was technically really considered above him um so i don't know i think gene actually goes pretty far but i have i have a pretty high interpretation of gene <clears throat> i don't know if people really agree with it but that's kind of what i gathered from like reading the data books and stuff <clears throat>